Hi guys! In today's update video we're gonna show you a comparison between a Raspberry Pi 3 on the HD monitor and a Udo X86 on the 4K monitor. We're gonna show you the two boards on everyday tasks such as browsing, uh, watching a movie and even playing games. Let's start! First, we are gonna power the boards at the same time, and we are gonna see which one shows us the desktop first. Each one is going to boot a Debian-based Linux, Raspbian on the Raspberry Pi, and a regular Ubuntu on the Udo x86. As you can see, the Raspberry Pi have a little of a head start, but the Udo complete the task much faster. Then, we are gonna launch the browser, and when our booth loaded, we are going to open our Kickstarter page on each system. Remember, they are connected to the same network, so the pages are virtually loaded at the same speed. Let's give the Raspberry some time to catch up. Now, let's scroll both pages to the bottom. As you can see, the Raspberry Pi is laggy and freezes in some occasion, while the Udo x86 goes smooth. Now we are gonna open another tab and head to YouTube. We are gonna load a movie trailer, in HD resolution of course, and we'll put it in full screen. The Raspberry Pi is struggling a bit, even in these simple tasks, while the EUDO X86 doesn't even skip a frame. Now, let's open Kodi, one of the most used software on the Raspberry Pi. How many times have you saw a guide to turn your Raspberry in a media center for your living room? Let's see how the Udo x86 gets along with this task. Ok, Kodi is loaded a little bit faster on our board. Now let's open an Ultra HD video. As you all already imagined, the Raspberry can't handle such a definition movie, so the Udo x86 scored another point. The Raspberry Pi user had to settle to a 180 movie. On a side note, we find out the Raspberry doesn't close Kodi quite well, and you have to do a little key combination to go back to desktop. And at last, a little eye candy, the Udo x86 is not a powerful gaming machine, and while we suggest you to use it as a Steam home streaming device, it can handle some popular games quite well. We are going to show the aspect in detail in another video, but in preview, let's see that it can run Dota 2 in 180 resolution on a solid 25 FPS. And that's all for today's video, thanks for watching, and keep follow us on YouTube and Kickstarter for more updates. And if you want to know more about Udo x86, some of the software you can use on it, or even how it runs Windows 10, check our other videos. Bye bye!